Have you noticed that your child's a little clumsy or not coordinated? So in this video, I want to talk about the potential for a nutritional deficiency. The reason may not be something they're just normally born with, but there's an actual underlying nutritional deficiency. So let's talk about this topic. There is a condition called ataxia. Ataxia comes from the Greek word meaning lack of order. So ataxia is a condition where the left side of the body is not coordinated with the right. There's gait abnormalities with walking, coordinated movements, muscle movements, and the inability to judge distances. So let's say you're gonna shoot a football and you completely overshoot or undershoot. Now that could be a lack of training in that sport, or it could be maybe a subclinical version of ataxia. Now, if you look at the underlying causes for ataxia, there's all sorts of things from brain tumor to cancer to head injury, but there's some other interesting causes as well. And one big interesting cause would be a vitamin B1 deficiency. I mean, if you think about a severe case of B1 deficiency called beriberi, one big effect is destruction of neurons in your brain because the vitamin B1 is involved in so many things in the body, including brain function, myelin sheath that surrounds the nerves, digestion, cardiovascular function, and impairment to certain parts of your brain. Now, before I talk more about B1, I wanna talk about other causes of ataxia. Uh, alcohol is one trigger. Uh, certain drugs will cause ataxia. Lithium can cause ataxia. Uh, a buildup of mercury can cause ataxia. A severe B12 deficiency can cause it. Having gluten sensitivity can cause ataxia. In fact, there's a condition called gluten ataxia, which I'm gonna do a separate video on, where gluten, the protein in certain grains, can actually destroy neurons in your brain. So there's many things that can cause ataxia, but what's not talked about very often is the relationship between vitamin B1 deficiency and ataxia. And the primary way which a child would become deficient in vitamin B1 would be consuming too much refined rice, too much refined grain, and too much sugar, not to mention gluten as well. Vitamin B1 is in the bran, which is the fiber part of the grain. And I'm talking about rice as well. In fact, a very severe B1 deficiency is called beriberi. And that was originally discovered by certain communities consuming too much milled or refined polished rice. I mean, how many children are, are living on refined carbohydrates and sugar? I mean, it's probably the vast majority. Now, if you consume whole grains with the bran, it's filled with phytates and that can block zinc. Another deficiency that shows up in a very large population of children. What I'm saying is if your child is not as coordinated as they should be, start to get them off these refined grains and sugar and give them some B1 and see if it doesn't clear up. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.